This is not for the faint of heart. I mean, this has got some... No, it's definitely a sherry punch. I, I don't know if it's good sherry. What's up? Hey, hey guys, guys, it is Scotch for Dummies. Four guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. And it could be, should be, maybe, I don't know. Something natural. Natural. A la natural. The Glenlivet Nadura. Nadura. Uh, there are three different expressions in the Nadura range, and today we're going to be sampling the Oloroso. Batch. Zero, uh, Olo 615, I guess is what that, Olo 615. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, Nadura means natural in Gaelic, and Glenlivet's, I guess, purpose for this series is to kind of get back to roots. They, they say that it's done in traditional 19th century uh, manner, which I'm sure there's probably some 21st century technology yeah. that goes on in that 19th century <laughs> manner, right? Bit. But I, I think the thing that they're focusing on is that uh, this particular one, while it is an NAS expression, is done in sherry casks from the Jerez region of Spain. Uh, they are, I, from what I've gathered, wet casks, so they're, they've got some punch to them. Um, and it's bottled at cask strength. So this particular bottle is at 60.37 percent so a bit of water. it comes with the the big water. and bold uh one thing to note about the nadura range if you get it in travel retail it is at 48 percent abv ah so cheat me a little bit i don't know reason why but it comes in a one liter bottle that's a bigger bottle so <laughs> same same amount same of liquor. alcohol <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyway, it's probably has something to do with they, like flammability of liquids and falling, or, or they just want to change it up for travel retail, so you had to buy another. It's got bottle, to be special, right? you know. Um, anyway, so mm -hmm. this is non-chill filtered. Mm -hmm. They don't say anything about natural color, but it's natural, right? I mean, Nadura means so natural. natural. We, we don't know. It, Nadura means natural in Gaelic. And this is a small <laughs> batch production, so there's going to be a batch number on your box and on your bottle, and there'll be some variations between batch to batch. Okay. It does appear that the batch number is directly related to the bottle date. So, but this was bottled on 615, and the batch is Olo 615. So there you go. So, Crazy. And there if you want to know something about the Glenlivet range, you just did a video, which is right up I there. Did. I did. Check it out um, on the whole range, and Nadora was part of it. So. Yep. History, everything. Take it out. Yep. yep. So, guys, right. um, we don't know if this is natural color, but it's it's. Looks like a little. God, I want to assume it is. Yeah. It's got that. a great nose. It's a little. I, I, we don't know how old it is. So. Wow. You know, I can't wait for some water to help with that because I can smell alcohol more. Than yeah. The, but I can. The Oloroso is coming through. Yeah. It, yeah. It's. It's not really like um, oxidized Oloroso. It feels young, yeah. fresh. I don't know. Yeah, it feels like. Uh, more concentrated. I get like, like wet wood. Yes, wet is the right term. Because I, I, it, it feels, it doesn't smell right. What do you, what do you get, Mark? Does it smell I mean, I, I get mean, the, I get the like sherry notes. Or nothing. You don't like it. But it's almost like. Uh, I'm not sure. It, it's almost like going into a, a wood shop where some, some water or something has gotten yeah, on the wood the and it's got that. that just copy what we're saying. No, I'll give him a, a COVID <laughs> COVID review at, at the end. I uh, he's starting to get his taste back. Got it's, nothing. It's, it's been three weeks. On four the nose. weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's so. been like five weeks or so. Probably pushing to say I'm. It's gonna, really? it's, yeah, it's, okay. it's gonna be coming back. Man. So. It would be interesting to see if you start getting other. It's sixty percent. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, getting some like leathery. Oh, yeah. Though. I mean, it does have the nice, like I get the dried fruit. Um, I, I get some of the leather and, mm -hmm. and some of those notes that I was associated with, with Sherry, but I mean, it, it comes in oh. there hot. Hello. I do get a hint of sweet it's cream. It's like a donkey kick. But it, oh man. It is. It's, it's a little fish that kicks even more. It's got a nice, I mean, the, the, the finish goes on for a long time. Yes, it does. Wow. It was a night. When you said dried fruits, I just put it in my palate. And man, it was it was nice. It was fruity. And then all of a sudden, here comes the alcohol hit. And then all of a sudden, yeah. even more or something like intensive, intensified yeah. like, in the palate and the finish. So I might not be able to taste anything. But that doesn't mean I can't feel the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> 
It comes in hot, oh, right? Yeah. It's a pouch. That thing slides in there. <laughs> Gets being chased by the cops. It's like you're on third base. All of a sudden, it's home run. <laughs> oh, gosh. It does. It's funny that you get an initial burn, and then it's like a second kick as you swallow it. Right. So I added a fair amount of water to this. All right. I'm going to do one more sip. But the nose, I want it to kind of air off a little bit. I know we're making these kind of short, guys. But uh... I get some, like, on the second sip now that I've, I've kind of adjusted to the how hot this is, I get some dried apricot. There's like some dried flowers going on. It's it's really nice. I mean, it's got some a little bit of depth and complexity. I'm anxious to see what water does to it because it, it's either going to open things up and let it kind of get into some flavors or it's going to water things down and, you know, all the punch was at the higher ABV level. So and I think that's where it is. You you did mention the price on this? It's 100 bucks. Okay. Is what we paid. And this is an NAS. And this is an NAS. Mm -hmm. 60, uh, but 60, just over 60% ABV. What are the other two Naduras? They have a peated and then a um, just an oak cask yeah. finished. Huh. Bourbon cask. I'd be interested yep. to try the peated one because that's not that's not their sweet spot. Mm. That's not their wheelhouse to no, steal your not. term there. So I want to know what. This is a pretty good Oloroso though. I mean, this is not this is not for the faint of heart. I mean, this has got some. No, it's definitely a sherry punch. I, I don't know if it's good sherry though. That's that's what I'm I'm struggling with this. I don't get, feel young. I don't get yeah. Well, that's the thing. It feels young. I'm not getting like any any deep old leather. I'm any richness, any oak, any of the kind of that those deep ruby fruits. There's fruits in there. There's some dried fruits, but it's like golden raisins as opposed to like okay. old dried yeah. raisins. Yeah, yeah. I I would tend to agree with that. To me, it's because I am kind of struggling with it a little bit because it does have some of the, the characteristics that I associate with Sherry, mm -hmm. but I'm with you that it, it seems younger. Um, a lot of the fruit flavors mm -hmm. are like light, like the dried apricot that I mentioned earlier instead of like deep, rich, yeah. you know, Christmas cake and plums. And you mentioned that you like gathered that. that this was, the, they were wet casks. What, where did you find, what, what led you to say the, that? There was a few people that had talked about that fact. Um, that they thought that they were uh, a, a wet cast versus, but I mean, who knows? Uh, I, I would say because it's an NAS, you just we do know that it's an exclusive sherry matured. So it's yeah. at, however long it was right. aged, it was aged in those sherry casks for the whole time. I so, do. Uh, I do have a Drew pull here for you guys. Mm -hmm. I have golden grams on the nose now. Golden grams. Remember those that cereal? Yeah, I do. Let me so, see if I can get it. I, nope. I I still get a lot of floral in the nose. I'm not getting much floral. I get so, floral and I get light fruits. Honey, or the, I feel like the honey's battling the oloroso and it's trying to come through, and the oloroso is not winning right now. So I just added more water to it, and it's actually getting nicer, more mellow. It's as you mellow, come down in ABV. It's just it's tasty. It's sweet. It's not it's not incredibly not complex, nothing. but it. it Mm -hmm. It's really getting kind of nice. I mean, I, it's a really friendly Not as edgy now. Not as edgy. Yeah. That's oh, wow. That water really does help. One thing you mentioned you gotta bring off camera, what's the typical ABV of a Glenlivet? 40. 40. <laughs> 40. So that's so, and 100 bucks for a cast strength. Right. Not bad. Just an AS, but, but Oloroso. And it's not it's not one of those fake Oloroso. It's Oloroso. I yeah. mean, it's got some in there. I, nothing. Damn. I, I just... It's interesting to me that these are a little bit farther out of the range from yes, Glenlivet. Sure. I mean, I think it's interesting that they decided to do something like this because it isn't their normal. No. Line wow, I put a, a considerable amount of water on it, and at least the. You get ready. I don't want to say smooth. Keep it but, short because that's all I got is alcohol. I can just judge the alcohol on it. That's right. all I can get. Um, it's really easy to drink now with the, with some water. On it. I mean, I'm not nowhere near forty percent, but. Um, it's much nice. more approachable from an alcohol standpoint. Yep. All right, I'm abstaining. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> abstaining. I got so I'll go ahead and start. Um, this is a uh, this is a, a nice bottle. Hundred dollars. It's not too bad when you consider it's a, over sixty percent ABV. Um, I, I think it it feels like hot. I mean, it doesn't have <laughs> it doesn't have time to mature and kind of take some of that alcohol edge out. Um, as I added more water, I actually got a a sweeter a more pleasant sherry influence. Maybe that's just because I was diluting the alcohol out. I don't know exactly. Probably need a little more work on that. Um, as far as a flavor palette, it's it's all sweetness and some dried fruit, but nothing you know old and, and archaic, like a really good oxidized old or so. Um, I'm gonna give this, you know, this is probably a two or two five because it is 
really pleasant to drink. I could drink it every day. If I had it on the bar, I'd share it with everyone I, everyone I talked to. There's nothing off about it. I'm gonna give it a 2.5. This is a this is a bottle worth on the bar. Hundred dollar NAS two five Andrew. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's kind of got that's, down, kids. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's I, notable. The, the the age has nothing to do with it for me. Okay, it's all about the flavor, and this is a nice every sh every, share with everyone okay. flavor. All right. all right, so price not bad. NAS, you know, people argue price NAS. Yeah. Cast strength, yeah, points up for that already, right? Because you you got wiggle room here. I would say without some water, it's harsh. It's a little bit edgier. It's got mm -hmm. the all the roast on the nose, but you got to battle through. I think if you pour it a little bit and let it sit, let it naturally open up for 20 better. minutes, maybe you'll get some of the same factors of watering it down. Cool. But I will definitely say with water, much better for me personally. I, I, I brought this down probably to like 50, maybe 52 with my water. That's a perfect sweet spot as far as roundness. It is Oloroso. It has that nice sherry that you're looking for. Um, and I love sherries, but I do still think it's a little bit edgy. I think that sherry's fighting something in there somehow, like maybe the the the, the wood or, or maybe just the alcohol it sense. But it's not not really coming through as flow as flow as it should be from yeah. our Oloroso point. Um, but for what I'm getting out of it, for a sherry part of it, and for the price and the cast strength, I'm gonna give it some points. I'm gonna go two five as well. I think it's above average. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just not as complex and as smooth as I want to give it for a higher score. Yeah. All right. Um, so I, to me, I'm kind of with you on going up and down. I mean, the NAS, I'm kind of kind of take it down a little bit, and you can kind of taste a little bit of the youth in it. I think. Yeah. Um, it, it was. It's hot at 60%. I mean, it, it comes in pretty hot. Yeah. Um, and some 60% I can drink, and, and this one just kind of is, is almost overwhelming. But you do get a little bit more of the sherry flavor. I found as I added water, I lost a little bit of that fruit. And I mean, it, it's still a nice sweet glass, and I watered it down three times because yeah. I just wanted to kind of yeah. take it down to different levels and see what I could get. Um, the finish still lasts a little bit, but it's definitely decreased. Um, but you do get 60%, so you can kind of play around and find the, the sweet Definitely. spot for you. I think for 100 bucks, I mean, it's got some nice sherry notes to it. It's a it's a nice glass. I don't mind drinking it at all. I'm going to give it a 2.5 as well. I think that it, it's a good, like, a little bit above average dram. Um, and for 100 bucks, it's it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, so, this, is, this is one of my favorite Glenlivet's, I think. I, I was just going to say the same thing from a Glenlivet perspective. Wonderful. For, yeah. I, I've not been a, been a huge fan of other all their other stuff, and this one is pretty damn not nice. too bad. Yeah, I mean, I think this this held the to me it held the water, but I didn't mention that. But I think I think it held the water pretty well, and the finish is still there. And I I'm probably below forty right now. I, mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I would have to say I kind of wish I would have started with a watered down glass and could take the water out. Yeah. Because it was so hot mm -hmm. coming in in the initial, but I'm wondering if it if it just kind of burned out the taste buds a little bit. And I couldn't Could access some of the stuff. I want to put this up against some other Olorosos in the mm -hmm. blind and just kind of see how it compares, especially once it sits out a little bit and just yeah. let it honestly kind of and tasty. really be fun. It's yeah, tasty. Fun. so yeah. all right, so guys, pretty easy math there. So, two five yeah. all the way around for us. We're this. I'm sure that's where I would come in oh. if they if <laughs> wish three two fives. I wouldn't have been more than a point five away from that. So thanks all for right. watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Well done, boys.